Sitting. All right, sitting. Okay. And if you look in the textbook, you'll see it done sitting. Um, here's my reason why I don't like to do it sitting. What does Joel have to do with his neck musculature when he's sitting? Engage it. He has to engage it. Now, the compression test is theoretically a passive motion test, right? Because I'm testing for non-contractile or inert tissue. But in order to be upright, we always have to do some low-grade contraction of our stabilizing muscles in our cervical spine. So, not saying this is wrong, just different. I like to do it with folks lying down, because then theoretically, their neck musculature is completely relaxed, right? And unless they've got some abnormal alignment, severe abnormal alignment or structural misalignment in their cervical spine, his cervical spine should be in a fairly neutral position with him lying down. So from here, I'm gonna do the compression test. And I like to think about, there's a certain amount of give or like squishiness in that cervical spine and we want to get to the bottom of it and then that's where we stop okay if we go beyond that we start pushing the whole you know, thoracic spine okay so he's coming in he's got neck pain he sometimes has some symptomology maybe some weird sensations in his shoulders or his fingers go numb and he's sustained a whiplash injury i can simply do a compression test Kind of low those intervertebral discs. If they're healthy and the nerve roots coming out of the cervical spine are healthy, he should be good. If that created pain, whether it's local or radiating, that pain should then go away when, I'm trying not to put your glasses on, when we distract. Okay. So, Let's talk about differences in positive results. If I push down on the compression and Joel goes, oh, I feel that in my neck. Do a little bit. Do you? A little bit. Where do you feel it? Right here. Okay, how would you describe it? Uh, pinchy tight, but not radiating. So that's more likely an indication that he's got a little bit of a facet joint issue going on. Right? As opposed to if I push down and he's like, oh, I feel it in my neck and or I feel it radiating down to the shoulder elbow, hand, whatever, that's more likely an indication of a disc issue in the cervical spine. Now it's obviously possible he could have both. He could be sharpshooting, pinchy, stabby in his neck, and he has some numbness and tingling in his hand. And then they both magically go away when we distract. We don't have a whole, we don't have a real clear cut sense of what's going on other than a potential positive for a disc issue. So that would be a good time to refer him out get some imaging done or some additional assessments. And he may come back and say, yeah, I've got my MRI report and it says that my discs are normal, the disc height is um, symmetrical, everything's good, but they did see some inflammation around the facet joints. And that's possible that, that the inflammation on the facet joints is just enough that it's pushing on the nerve roots and giving him some sensation into the arm or hand. Uh, Questions on compression distraction. Very good.